folks, this is Rare and Tear, yet another YouTube author and gear review channel. Today I want to respond to a tag challenge that was forwarded to me by Stefan from the YouTube channel A Little Older. Now he asked three questions. First, what is your most used knife? What is your most favorite budget knife? And the third question was, uh, what is your most recent knife purchase? Now, I'll try to answer those three questions. Now, just in case a sane person watches this channel, like for example my wife, sane person might ask the question, how can you go on talking about knives for such a long time in such detail? Well, the response is very simple. Knives are a great human accomplishment, uh, comparable to uh, antibiotics, semiconductors, dynamite and Tamagotchis. So people talk about those things all the time, right? So why not talk about knives too? All right, folks, let's talk about my most used knife. And in the context of being outdoors, it's definitely the Gerber strong arm. Just check it out. I've already used it today as well. Now, the Gerber strong arm is very light, very versatile. And if you're not sure which knife to take with you, you just throw that in the backpack. It will serve you very well in any capacity. It's very sturdy and it gets great reuse online. There's really nothing not to like about this knife. It has great grip and you can, I've used it for so many things. I've used it to dig stones out of the earth. Uh, I've used it to throw it, of course. So uh, it, it really has great ergonomics. It comes with a very, very handy sheet system, which is Molly compatible. So, well, definitely this is my most used knife outdoors. However, my most used knife when I'm not outdoors, when I run around in a suit or uh, just when I move around in a more civilized context is the um, Spyderco Endura. And I don't know, Endura 4, it's the Endura 4 version. Now that's a beauty, it looks like a little bit like a claw. And what is special about the Endura is more high priced knife of course. Uh, it's supposed to have a very very good steel. Uh, I've never pushed it to the limits so I I'm not an expert in that, but what I, I do notice is the excellent handle with this wonderful checkering. It, the checkering is just always right, no matter in which context uh, you work with the knife. Uh, if you want to stab with the knife or make a forward motion, you have the checkering right there. It will give you maximum grip. If you pull it out of your uh, pants when you carry it with the clip, you have checkering right there in a the direction that gives you maximum grip on the thumb. So it's probably the knife with the best checkering, with the best grip, at least in terms of being a pocket knife. So I really appreciate this knife. However, recently it got some competition. Now this is the competition. It's the Ganso Firebird F758. I've gotten it in orange so I can more easily find it when it's in the backpack or so. Now this is my most favorite budget knife. It just operates flawlessly and it never fails to arrest the blade. It never fails to open, to deploy quickly. Uh, it has, this is the version with the G10 handles. There is a version with an um, aluminum handle. And I'd like to try this one too. Now the G10 handle on this uh, is supposed to offer a little bit more grip. Uh, I personally find the checkering, the surface texture, a little bit less than satisfying. It doesn't offer so much grip and 
a kind of dirt sticks a little bit uh, to to the handle. Now the blade itself is, comes very sharp. It comes razor sharp when uh, the way it's delivered by Ganso. Uh, now it's down to just paper cutting sharp, which is enough for me. And well, I just like to play with the knife. And it's a little bit of a scary sight for some people, I understand, so I need to be a little bit careful with it. Uh, I wouldn't use it so much as an outdoor knife. Uh, it really can't do nothing that my uh, Gerber strong arm can't do much better. But for everyday carrying, this is a great competitor to the Spydaco. Now the Spydaco is around 80 bucks and this is around 20 bucks. This is something to consider. Of course the steel is inferior, but the overall construction is very good. It's, it's very solid. It's very uh, it has very nice fit and finish, so I definitely suggest this knife. Now, what's my latest purchase? My latest purchase is this tiny little knife uh, called a San Remo. San Remo, um, you say 7098LUE. That's uh, tiny multi-purpose knife which also features a saw the saw locks that's quite nice so of course all liner lock it has a screwdriver and a can opener so it's a classic little multi-tool for 10 bucks it seems to be good quality but it has a little bit of problem with locking it doesn't always instantaneously lock. You have to check and make sure that it's actually locked unless you want to have a nasty surprise. So when I ordered it, I thought it's a little bit bigger than it actually is. So for me, it's a little bit too small. It comes razor sharp, which is very nice. So I don't know yet. Maybe I give it away or maybe I find some uh, spot for it in my gear setup. So. With this, I think I have answered all the questions with the tag, and now for me it's time to eat. Mm. It sure tastes good. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, this was wear and tear over and out.